Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with a fabric unboxing. All 100% cotton batiks in this batch. I believe the email said that I got 180 yards. He had sent me some images of the new batiks that he had just gotten in and I said I'll take three yard cuts of whatever you can give me and uh, I think he said I have 180 yards. I'll find a, a receipt in here somewhere. So that means I should have 60 different prints, give or take. Sometimes he might give me two cuts of the same print, and a lot of times the prints look similar, but I don't care. It's all good. I know I get a lot of repeats because I order enough from him that I end up with repeats, but I did see some new uh, fabrics, some new prints in the images, and and I'm not like sending the images back and saying I want that one, that one. It doesn't work that way. I just say I want three yard cuts of whatever, how many ever yards or fill two boxes or however it is that I order for that particular time and I just take what I get. And it's usually pretty good. And even if there's times that it's something that I'm not thrilled with, I sell it. Other people are thrilled with it. Go figure. All right, I want to just get started because I'm so excited. I opened the top box. I have two boxes. I opened the smaller box, and I have a few right here because I needed to take a picture for the thumbnail. Oh, yeah, glasses yellow because look at the sides. I thought that was so cool that I had to have them. Whoops. No, I like it. I do. I like it. Yellow glasses. I've had yellow before. Like I was saying, I needed to take a picture for the thumbnail, so I have just a few here. And do love. I don't know if I've had this exact print uh, on this exact color of green, shade of green, I should say, but I like it. And I don't know. I'm not going to go through and say every one of the ones that I think I might have had or not had unless I really feel the need to say that. I don't think I've had this one. <laughs> Not in the exact colors. <gasps> I like this side of it. Look at that. Oh, see, this is one of the ones that the colors change throughout the fabric. I love that so much. This one I know I haven't had. See, I guess I am forced to tell you. That's cool. Like this one. See, I love these, the ones with the visible wax resist dots, because that's what a batik is. It's a wax resist and uh, not gold. It's just a method of dyeing the fabric. Ooh, purple and green, and it's a good green. I love this. Okay, let's get some more. If you are new to my channel, I buy this for resale. I'm not just buying all this fabric all the time for myself. One person felt the need to tell me that I had a problem because I buy too much fabric. <laughs> it's like, yeah. The only problem I have is people like that. <laughs> Let's talk about this for a second. I know I haven't had that. I like that very much. But yeah, so not everybody knows I sell this. And I sell the bulk of my fabric to my exclusive shoppers. Those are patrons and YouTube members who belong to my exclusive fabric club, we're calling it now. And at least I'm calling it that now. And then whatever doesn't sell there makes its way to eBay. Is that incredible or what? I love it. I'm very happy with this batch. I mean, so far, a lot of these things are not the exact same prints that I've had before. So I have a feeling my exclusive shoppers are going to like that too. I'm, I'm trying to contain my excitement more. Okay, this is going to be it for the little box. Oh. See, I, I have a hard time even wanting to get rid of this stuff. <laughs> That's why. Oh. That's why I have to sell it. I have to. And I have to do it, like, quickly. I can't have too much of an attachment. Oh, I don't even want to show you. I'm secretly wondering if I should just keep this. 
No, I have to show it. I have to sell it. I love brown now. And look at it. Come on. Please tell me that you're as excited about this as I am. So, so awesome. I need a pill. All right, here we go. We've had this one, and I like it. And I just had this one. You'll recognize it from my Batik Steps quilt that I just made. That's a video before this one and a penny auction for the quilt top. All right, I have to open, I have to open the big box now. I had such a hard time opening that box. That was a workout. And uh, these are all folded differently. So let me see what the best way is to handle this. Like, did we already see this? I don't know. See, I'm starting to already think that we saw some of these. No, I don't think so. Ooh, another one where the color changes. I'm going to open it up, and it changes, like, a lot. I like that. See, there's, like, this and this and this greens and purples and I don't know. I don't know what you saw. I couldn't see because the fabric was in my way, but it's nice. I would like to mention something, if I can shut up long enough about the fabric. I, okay, I don't know. I might have to just actually take a break. I'll take two seconds, which is maybe more like two minutes. I wanted to say that I hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube today five and a half years into my YouTube journey. And I wrote a blog post as to how that makes me feel. Last night, I knew that today I would hit 100,000. And I was starting to write a blog post about how it wasn't an event for me. It, it just didn't feel like anything. As a matter of fact, it didn't feel good last night. Today it felt good because it is a milestone, but the thing is I could have reached that a long time ago. Five, five and a half years to get to a hundred thousand, that's slow. Uh, but the thing is is that I did it my way. I could have gained more subscribers by constantly just doing what other people wanted me to do or expected me to do, but I took a lot of chances with my channel all the way through and I kept changing what I was doing and I've finally come to the point where I realized that that is what I needed to do to constantly keep active with it. I have zero regrets with changing the things that I've changed. Maybe I have a little bit of a regret that I sometimes hung on to things way too long that weren't feeling good for me for quite a while, but I was like, I can't stop doing these. They like these videos. So anyway, I'm just going to link to that post down below. It's on my blog, and you can go read it if you want to. All right? Thank you for listening. Back to the fabric. Look. Look at this. Look how good that goes with my glasses. <laughs> I'm so glad to be getting um, colors. I'm confused. Oh, okay. I'm back to picking from the pile that we already did. Let me get more from the box. I'm very happy. Very happy with this mix. Look at this. Oh, another one that goes with my glasses. More brown. Brown with colors. And it changes. Oh. I know some of you get excited about it like I do. But maybe not just by seeing it on camera. If you were here, touching it, feeling it, smelling it, you'd be hell of excited. Look, I like that. Wow, so many of these are not prints that I've had or not had often. I'm going to go nuts with this. I mean nuts trying to figure out all the different lots that I will be selling. Look at that. Huh. I didn't expect this much wonderfulness. 
look at this. Look at the colors. and Oh, it's just so cool. Oh my god. I'm looking at it in my little screen as I'm showing it to you and it's just so pretty. I think that there will be some more batik videos on the way. Got to get more. I finally got to the receipt and yes, I got 180 yards, 60 prints, 3 yards of each. My pile is getting so high. My next fabric frenzy. Um, I'm speechless. Is uh, February 28, 2020. Of course, if you're watching in the future, that doesn't matter anymore. So uh, let's look. Let's look at this. Look at that. Now, see, this is like so up my alley. Doesn't go with my glasses, but it's so, so what I love. Oh, it just smells so crisp and clean, and it's cold against my neck. <laughs> Look, beautiful colors, beautiful. Oh, and again, some of these, I don't know, they might be repeats. Oh, here's another one like that. And we've got this guy. And that actually kind of goes good together. Hi. Love brown. I really do. I think it's my new favorite color. Very nice. Oh, just no end. Think we've seen this? I don't know. I really don't care if there's some that are duplicates because it'll allow me to do more things with that one print. Look at that! Get the hell out! How cool is that? It's super cool. Look at the different colors. I like it when I cut like fat sixteenths out of that because it's like each block can look so different because of just the placement on, you know, where the print happens to land. But yet it all works together because it's all from the same bolt. I like that. I don't think there's anything in here that I don't like. Really, there isn't. We're almost done. Oh... Only one more, and it's nice. It's like galaxy and different shades of purple and blue and stuff like that. I see pink inside. Wow, I am a mega happy with this, mega. I will have to email and let him know that. Very good so excited to uh, start cutting this stuff but I have other things that I'm cutting also I'm busy I'm always busy have I mentioned that <laughs> I think I have millions of times so links are down below to whatever I might have mentioned in this video and uh, you can also that's right I'm having a free offer right now it ends today if you become a patron at the five dollar level and get in on the sales I think I have one more weekend of flash sale and then it's going to be the Fabric Frenzy. You would be in for that and you would get a little packet of 42 inch squares. Just a little free gift promo that I'm having that I have every now and then. And that ends today, tonight. I'll let it run. Tomorrow's actually a holiday, so if you join on Monday, the uh, today's the 16th. I'll still honor it. But go ahead and join. If you join YouTube memberships, then you have to email me 
I'll link to the blog post. How about that? Um, you can go check it out. You'll have to email me and uh, let me know because I don't get a notice from YouTube when somebody joins. And I don't handle any of that. It's all behind the scenes on both platforms. People will, you know, ask me questions about, you know, my, their payment or their credit card. and you know, I don't see any of that. Those platforms handle everything. But if you join Patreon, I will get a notice and you need to leave your address when you join and you have to check the option to allow Patreon to give me your email, uh, your mailing address. So you have to check the option that's something about um, that you opt in to receiving mail. If you don't check that, I won't get the address. All right, that's a lot of stuff I just said that you don't even give a shit about. Um, maybe some of you do. I do get people who join every time I have this promo. It is amazing what little squares of fabric will do. <laughs> so join. Go get your freebie. And I will be back with more soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.